Connor O'Brien, and I'm doing an experiment suggested by my uncle Greg O'Brien. He wanted to show that water has a charge. We're going to do an experiment. We're going to get a charge in, his, in the spoon by rubbing it on my hair. Beef. Rub hard. Yeah. It's hard. You can also use a coat sleeve. The spoon is picking up electrons from my hair, giving it a negative charge. Now you can see the charge. It checks my hair, which, and since my hair is left with positive charges, the positive and negative um, go towards each other. Improv. Water molecules are more positive on one side than the other, since the oxygen and hydrogen molecule bonds are bent instead of all in one line. Here, I'm going to show something. Here's the oxygen, and here is the hydrogen. <laughs> what does it do? Oh, it's pushing the water! Actually, it's pulling the water. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Look at that! Isn't that cool, guys? <laughs> Try the experiments. As soon as you touch it, though, it runs out. Whoops! Like that. We get the rubbing on. Let's see if Fletcher's head works. All right, there's Fletcher's head. Got a good charge. Oh, that's good hair. Let's see how that works. Wow! I got better hair. Fletcher's got better hair than you or me, Connor. Looks like the younger the hair, the better it works. Yeah, maybe the thicker, my beautiful son. I want to try myself to All right, you can do it. All right, Fletcher's hair. It's picking up electrons, Fletcher, from your hair. It's scraping little electrons out of your hair. All right, we're getting electrons out of your hair into this spoon, which gives it a negative charge. The oxygen in the water is positively charged. That means <laughs> it's like I have superpowers. It's just like that. The spoon's a waterbender. They're very cool. Okay, guys, thank you. You're good boys. What did you learn? That I have magic actually... powers. What did you learn, Fletcher? That I have magic powers. And what did you learn? That, um... You can bend water using electrons and um, protons.